guys. I'm just in Bratislava. I'm in their shopping center and I'm trying to explore what they have. The name of this shopping center is called Central Bratislava. Um, for all those who don't know where Bratislava is, Bratislava is based in Central Europe. It's just um, next to Austria and Hungary. And it's also next to Poland as well. So I decided to explore Slovakia just to see how it is to be a tourist here. I'm sure a lot of you have seen my video in Poland and um, I just wanted to understand the similarities between Bratislava and Poland. Also, you'd remember that I checked out the um, shopping center in Poland and it was quite interesting to see very, very similar shops that they have in the UK. And I've got a strong feeling they have similar shops here as well. Um, I came here this morning and um, I've explored already to see what they have around the town centre area and I've spoken to some of the locals already and I must say the Slovakians are so chilled out. Um, they are very similar to the people of Krakow. I know it sounds weird to compare but they are quite similar if not even much more chilled out compared to the guys from Krakow. Okay, enough talking, let's explore and see what they have in central Bratislava. Okay, so this is their main shopping centre and um, it's about 7 p.m. and I'm just trying to see what sort of things we can do at this time. I'm not looking to have dinner here at all because um, you normally not get the sort of food you want um, in the shopping centre. So I'm going to obviously go out later tonight and see what I could have for dinner. Obviously I've got to have their local delicacy like I normally do. I'm not looking to have any junk food tonight. And I might also explore their nightlife as well. Okay, they've got Starbucks. So, that's just normal anyway. So you'd always see Starbucks in every single shopping centre you go to in Europe anyway. I've never been to America, so I'm not sure how many Starbucks they have. But they definitely have Starbucks in America, that's for sure. But um, what I did notice in most European countries is they do have a lot of coffee shops. Um, because most people are coffee drinkers, like me anyway. Okay, so moving on. Um, so Bratislava is also one of the most underrated cities in Europe. For some reason, people tend to skip Bratislava. Um, they tend to visit neighboring cities um, in neighboring countries like Budapest, like um, Vienna, like Krakow, um, like Warsaw, you know, places like that. But they tend to leave out Bratislava for some reason. So, it would be good to kind of understand if it's worth missing out Bratislava, which I honestly doubt. Um, since I've been here, it's been quite good so far. Um, I came around 11 o'clock um, in the morning, so I had the opportunity to explore. Let me go to the next floor and see what they have. I think this I think this shopping center has like um I think it's got two floors. So actually it's got three floors. It's got um it's got a basement. 
minus one, but I think that's just the toilet. And floor one and two. So let's see. Also, um, what I did notice is they don't have a lot of tourists in the area. And that might be because not a lot of people visit Bratislava. Although when I did my research, um, it did say that about a million people come to Bratislava every year. So it'll be interesting to see how many people are out there tonight to kind of give you an understanding of how um, Bratislava is. So this is um, minus one. I thought it was just the toilet, but I think there's a lot more going on here. So they've got orange. Um, for those that live in the UK anyway, you'll notice that they don't have um, orange anymore. Um, a lot of the telecommunications company have merged. So um, you wouldn't see orange or... There's another one I see in other places. I've totally forgotten what it's called, T-Mobile. So if you go to certain European countries, you still see T-Mobile, um, but they don't have that um, in the UK anymore. So they've all merged. All the big players have all merged. But if you travel across Europe, you still see a lot of them. So, how many days am I spending in Bratislava? So in terms of how many days I'm spending here, so I came today, obviously, and I'm leaving on Monday, but I do plan to go to, um, to Vienna on Sunday. And the reason for that is, a lot of people have told me that um, Vienna is worth visiting on a weekend. I've been there before, but I've not been there on a weekend. Um, so it'll be good to have an idea of how Vienna is um, during the weekend. Oh, they've got like a mini supermarket here. Let me show you guys. So they've got um, so they've got a mini supermarket here. Interesting. You tend to see this in um, Asian countries or Arab countries. You don't really see a lot of um, supermarkets in um, in shopping centres in European countries. So let me explore and see what we can see. Okay, so they've got your they've got your fruit and veg. Interesting. This is a very interesting um, shopping centre, by the way. Um, it's not it's not one I'm used to anyway. So they've got groceries. I might actually get myself a drink. I'm quite I'm quite thirsty. Okay, they've got wine as well. So I'm not sure if um, they have Slovakian wine or alcohol, because some countries have their local wine. But I'll find out probably tonight or tomorrow, because I'm going to look at the bars today. So um, they might tell me um, if they have local wine in Slovakia. But yeah, interesting. This is one of the um, most dead supermarkets I've ever, ever I'm sorry, most dead supermarkets I've ever been to. Um, the ones I normally go to are quite busy and they have a lot of people. But it might just be that um, because this one is based in, this, um, in, the, in the shopping centre, it might just be that not a lot of people come here. Okay, so still looking around, um, I might, I'm just looking to see if I can get a drink or anything to obviously quench my thirst. If not, I'll check a different store. Um, I need something cold. Um, it's quite warm today. It's so weird, I'm wearing a jacket, but it's still quite warm outside. I've only worn a jacket just in case it gets cold. Um, but the weather has been okay actually. When I came here, it was around 21 degrees. So actually, there was no need for a jacket, but it's always good to wear one just in case. 
Okay, so where are their drinks? So let's look at prices. I like to compare prices um, when I go to foreign countries. It's always good to kind of compare the prices and see if you get better value in, in that particular country. So, um, drinks, drinks, drinks. Where are the drinks? Um, okay, I think they have a fridge. Okay, so we've got Red Bull. That's one euro thirty-nine. That looks similar to um, the prices in the UK. Anyway, I don't think it's far off at all. Actually, the prices might be similar though, um, because in Poland um, they have a different currency. They have Polish zloty, so things are much more cheaper, which makes sense. But here they use euro, so. I suppose the prices would be similar across the board um, and when I mean across the board um, across all countries um, within Central Europe and um, and Western Europe because if they all use the same currency I suppose the prices would be quite similar okay so what should I get to drink I'm somewhat confused um, let me try you've got these drinks at the bottom i don't know what the hell it is but um it'll be good to try okay let's try that um yeah let's try that so um I'm gonna get this drink, then we're going to explore around um, the shopping centre. I'll probably check out the nightlife in, um, in Bratislava. Um, I was told that um, the, the Bratislavan nightlife is really good. Um, they do have a lot of tourists um, that come in from, um, from various parts of Europe, including the UK. Um, a lot of stag do's are done here, um, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, I've got a feeling that um, in terms of prices, the prices are going to be quite similar to what you get across Europe. Um, when I came here today, um, I did check some shops um, to kind of see how much they sell stuff and um, it was somewhat similar. Also, they have a lot of kebab shops around here. I don't know why. Um, they just have so many kebab shops around this, um, this city. Um, they have a lot of Chinese restaurants as well. Um, but they did, they did have a lot of Chinese restaurants in Poland as well. So it might just be a Central Europe thing um, or a European thing because they have a lot of Chinese restaurants in, um, in the UK as well. So I'm just going to scan this and see how much it is. Um, it will probably be like one euro or so, who knows. Um, so I'm going to buy this then obviously we would continue exploring. Okay guys, so I got my drink. Um, it was only 95 euro cents um, and um, they charge 15 euro cents for um, the plastic, yeah? So one thing they do in Slovakia is if you buy water or um, you buy a drink and um, that drink and that water is in a plastic bottle, you'd have to pay an extra fee um, for that plastic bottle. So um, when I bought water today, I bought four bottles of water and I was charged 15 euro cents um, per bottle so that's roughly like let's say 12p or 11p per bottle um, I think they're doing it to discourage people from using plastic um, but I didn't really get it though so the reason why I didn't really get it is I went to a shop to buy four bottles of water um, they never had any options in terms of not having water in a um, in a bottle 
in a bottle that is not plastic. Um, so I expected them to have options like having water in like a glass bottle, for example. Um, so that would obviously deter me from buying the ones in the plastic, um, but they never had any options. Um, so <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense charging people an extra 15p um, if you have no options for them. But yeah, so things are quite expensive. Um, and when I mean things are quite expensive, I mean water and um, drinks are quite expensive if they're in a plastic bottle. So just watch out for that when you come here. Um, so a lot of the shops are quite dry. Um, a lot of the shops are quite dry. I think it's because of the time. Um, oh, they, I think they have that shop in the UK, Martino. Yeah, so a lot of the shops are dry because of the time, I suppose. Um, I'm definitely sure it gets busier later. Okay, guys, let's check the final floor they have. Um, I'm going to floor two. I think all they have here is literally like restaurants. Um, and um, they'll probably have things like McDonald's, I guess. Um, but let's check it out anyway. So... Um, I spoke to one of the ladies that, um, that works here and she did say that um, they have a very, very, very big shopping centre in Bratislava, it's called Nidi. So I might go and check that out later on um, tomorrow. I can't obviously do that tonight, um, it's way too late. Um, oh yeah, like I said, they've got McDonald's, um, I'm totally right, um, and they've got other local restaurants here as well um, I'm not going to try anything tonight um, in the shopping centre I'll go out and see what they have um, I'll probably look for a Slovakian um, restaurant to go to I'm, I'm always encouraging people in all my videos to have the local food um, like when I went to Poland um, I did have a lot of Polish food so I do recommend all the time to people to always try the local delicacy. I wonder what this place is. It looks like a gym. Oh yeah, it is a gym. It smells like it as well. Um, yeah, so this is the final or last floor in the shopping center. I said final. <laughs> this is the last um, or the, yeah, the last floor in the shopping centre, floor two. Um, so... So this is all they have um, in floor two. So feel free to come here and um, have something to eat if you are visiting. Um, I always tell people, don't go McDonald's though, yeah? Um, you can have McDonald's in your local country. I don't advise you to have it um, when you go out there. Um, they also have Asian food here. So, for those that are into the uh, Chinese, Japanese, feel free. But, but normally they don't really have good food in the shopping centre. Um, a lot of the food are already pre-cooked anyway, so um, they're just having food that is already done and they're just warming it up for you. Um, let's see what they have in this part of the floor. Um, there's no one here, probably because it's too late. Um, they've got this restaurant here. I don't know what sort of food they have. I can't actually read what they put on there. This restaurant looks really fancy, but I can't tell what sort of restaurant it is. It might be Italian, who knows? Okay guys, um, I'm going to have to end this video. I'm going to obviously show you more of Bratislava later on tomorrow. Um, if you haven't obviously subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, please feel free to comment as well. Um, I'll be taking you guys to um, to Austria as well on Sunday um, and I'm going to be visiting Vienna I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye